Who has the best physique in MMA? That's what we're here to discuss. Now, there are plenty of fighters that are in great shape, but only a select few of them look like they're straight out of comic books. And since fighters vary in size and weight, we are going to look at the most impressive physiques throughout each weight class. So make sure to use this video for some motivation to get your shit together so that you can get in shape. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, the first guy that we are going to look at is Jilton Almeida. And in my opinion, I think that this guy is the most impressive physique on the roster. Maybe not the best, but the reason why I say that this guy, I mean, just look at him. He's shredded to the bone. He has chest striations. He is a heavyweight. I mean, this is a photo of him at weigh-ins when he was competing in the light heavyweight division. But you have to keep in mind, guys, just because a guy like this is weighing in at 205 pounds does not mean that's what he competes at in the cage. In the cage, this guy is ballooning up to 230 pounds. And I'm going to show you guys the cage weights or the estimated cage weights for most of these guys so that you get an idea of how big they actually are in these photos. Jilton is six foot three, 230 pounds as a light heavyweight that is currently competing in the heavyweight division. He's too big. He was too jacked for light heavyweight. He had to move up. And this is him from his last fight after he completely steamrolled Jarzinho Rosenstrike. There's just nothing that people can do to stop this guy when he gets a hold of you because of how strong he is. He's probably on the sauce. I mean, you're just looking at him now. This is like a sauced version of Yoel Romero. Shredded at 200 plus pounds or just lean as fuck in the heavyweight division. I think he weighed in at like 235 here. You have to be on something. Clearly, his genetics are insane. But like to be that lean and to be that heavy pretty suspicious i just have to say that marlon marais we are going to go down to the bantamweight division now shout out to marlon marais because he just retired when it comes to the midsection this guy has the most cartoonish midsection i've ever seen i'm talking about his abs it's something that's straight out of a comic book uh he's a bantamweight five foot six that means he's weighing in at 135 pounds but is probably competing at around 150 just shredded to the bone like the proportions off the charts uh no imbalances whatsoever filled out chest filled out arms and of course the midsection is what is most impressive about marlon marais this guy is always showing up shredded to the nines diced to the socks and uh yeah i gotta respect it man this is just straight up motivation that's what i'm getting at from you know making this video i'm just motivating myself to get my shit together when it comes to my diet dan hooker another guy with a really underrated physique this dude's triceps are insane insane they are like blown up cartoonish like and his delts as well some of the craziest tricep and delt insertions i've ever seen there he is with israel adesanya and brad riddell and Keep in mind, this guy is a lightweight and he basically looks, you know, just as big as Adesanya, but obviously a little bit shorter. Now, he doesn't have big legs, so that obviously plays a part, but he probably weighs 170 pounds in the cage. He's six foot two, one of the taller lightweights. Uh, here he is weighing in at 145 pounds. Now, this was a mistake, not only because he had been through a lot of wars, but just because he's already a big lightweight, six foot two. We just saw him next to Izzy looking massive. And he decided to cut down to 145 pounds. Now, we actually lost. No surprise. He was completely weight trained. But I'm just showing the picture because the striations in his delts are crazy. Garam Kutaledzi has never had a carb in his life and has probably never had a snack. And that's why he looks miserable in this photo. But this is the most shredded UFC fighter that ever walked the planet. All right. You want to talk about motivation for getting your shit together on a diet? Just look at the life of Garam Kutaledzi, bro. This guy is off the charts, shredded to the nines. Look at this dude, man. He's a lightweight. He's five foot ten. He's weighing in at 155 pounds, and I bet his cage weight is 155 too, because he tries to go in there to prove a point. All right, just to show everyone how disciplined he is. You know, all jokes aside, Garam Kutaledzi is the most shredded guy. If there's anyone that's more shredded than this, let me know in the comments, but I just know this dude has to be miserable through training camp. Otherwise, he has uh, got the craziest, most gifted genetics to be able to 
be this happy and still be on a diet, but he's probably forcing that smile knowing how brutal the weight cut probably is. So shout out to Garam Kutaledzi. That is some serious discipline to get that lean. Most people look lean when they weigh in, but this is just another level. Luke Rockhold, we are going to be bumping up to the middleweight division. I think that Luke Rockhold, I think he's got one of the best physiques ever, man. I mean, he is six foot three. He competed at middleweight, as I said, but is probably in the cage at around 205 pounds. And the guy just has like the streamlined aesthetic look. You know what I mean? Like to the average person, this is the perfect physique. You know what I mean? There he is back in the day in strike force. Guy was just, as I said, diced to the socks, shredded to the nines everywhere. And then we have the opposite of that, which is like Paulo Costa. This is a bodybuilder esque physique in MMA. He has T Rex arms, a little bit stubby. Paulo Costa competes in the middleweight division. And I actually think that he had a background in bodybuilding. What I mean by that, I don't think he's competed in it, but before he turned pro, I think bodybuilding was his first like physical activity that he took up before he went into grappling, before he started MMA. He's six foot one, probably weighs 205 pounds in the cage. I'm, I'm guessing this guy is ballooning up like 20 pounds. Again, he weighs in at middleweight, that's 185 pounds but he is known for being like the biggest middleweight that there is. And you see what I'm talking about by a little bit blocky, shorter arms, but look at the fucking biceps. Look at the shoulders just filled out like bread loaves for biceps. This dude could be a bodybuilder 100%. Cap delts, a lot of people suspect that he's on the sauce, the secret juice as he coins it. I would not be surprised. Now here is in my opinion, this is the best physique in the UF, oh, not in the UFC, I'm sorry. He used to be in the UFC, Sage Northcutt, that's who we're talking about, is now in one FC. I think that Sage Northcutt has the best physique, maybe on the planet, the most impressive physique in my opinion. That's right, I'm calling out Mario Rios because I think that Sage Northcutt has the best physique in MMA. I think this is the new guy. He looks like he's from a comic book. These are cartoonish proportions, literally. He's competing at welterweight, middleweight right now. He's probably in the cage at 185 to 190 pounds. He is six foot tall and he's shredded to the gills. Look at this guy, bro. Diced. He's got like fucking peaks for biceps, mountain peaks. No fat on him whatsoever. Small waist, shredded back, shredded triceps, you know, striated delts. And here he is in the gym, Sage Northcutt. This is not a physique that has only been built on genetics. He also works his ass off. He loves to lift. You just have to check out his Instagram to find out he's been lifting his whole life. Insane leg development. So I'm going to say that Sage Northcutt might just have the best physique straight up. Mario Rios, I want to hear your take on this because, you know, I've never heard you mention this guy. Maybe you have. Is he natural? I'm not too sure. I mean, like, to be fair, how the fuck are you this lean? and like, you know, weighing 190 pounds. I know this guy has elite genetics as well, but who cares at the end of the day? Like, it, it, just use it for motivation. I'm not too big into the whole natty or not stuff anyway. I just know that people get interested in that kind of conversation, but uh, either way, shout out to Sage Northcutt. Straight up motivation right here. This is one of my all-time favorite fighters in part because I've always been someone that uh, lifted weights, or at least since I was 14 years old, I started lifting weights. And I've been into bodybuilding for a long time. And when I started watching MMA, Yoel Romero became one of my favorite fighters in part due to the fact that he's fucking jacked. He is a middleweight, five foot 10, probably weighs around 205 pounds in the cage. And keep this in mind, Yoel Romero is in his fucking 40s in all of these photos. This guy was made in a lab, a Cuban lab funded by the Soviets most likely. And he's always been an elite athlete. This guy is a former Olympic wrestler. He took silver in the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. So yeah, all the training combined with elite genetics have given Yoel Romero one of the craziest physiques. Shredded to the nines. He's got massive traps as well. He's KOing my boy Luke Rockhold in that photo. And today, as I said, Yoel Romero is in his 40s in all of these pictures, and these were years ago as well. But the craziest thing is this guy is competing for a championship in Bellator for the light heavyweight belt this Saturday. There he is. He's blown up. 
He probably weighs 220 plus pounds in the cage these days. He has put on a shitload of size and a lot of bloat as well, a lot of water weight. To be honest, I wouldn't even be surprised if Yoel Romero isn't even training anymore when it comes to like MMA specifics. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if this guy's just getting up off the couch after a lift to fight Vladimir Nemkov this Saturday. Now, of course, I'm not that serious when I say that, but he just looks like he doesn't give that much of a fuck anymore and he's just showing up to see what he can do in Bellator because I honestly think that one of the reasons he moved up a weight class is just because he was tired of those brutal weight cuts to get down to 185 and he wanted to get jacked again and he took it to the next level. Look at the traps on Yoel Romero. This guy is an absolute freak. Michael Chandler, another guy that is extremely explosive. I mean, this is one of the most explosive fighters in the UFC. He's fighting Connor next, allegedly. I don't know if that fight's actually going to happen. Hopefully, Connor can actually sign a contract. But here he is, Michael Chandler. One of the reasons why I'm picking him to beat Connor is because just look at the guy. He's actually training like he's a ranked fighter in the UFC, and he's not out here partying in Ibiza with celebrities popping pills with Rick Ross, smoking big blunts at his Black Forge Inn. Michael Chandler is training on demon time every single goddamn day in the gym. Just look at his Instagram. And uh, it's evident in his physique, shredded to the nines, has the typical wrestler build and uh, crazy knockout power as well. You wouldn't be surprised. You just look at Michael Chandler and you know he has some insane knockout power. Davidson Figueredo, it's time to get to the flyweights. The most shredded guy in the flyweight division, crazy physique, uh, is known for having massive weight cuts as well. Davidson Figueredo, I believe, it may not be true anymore, but at one point in time, he was known for cutting the largest percentage of his body weight compared to any other UFC fighter. Now, he's only about 140 pounds in the cage, and in the offseason, he's probably weighing in at like 155, maybe 160 if he gets a little heavy. And he weighs in at 125 pounds. He's five foot five, so that's a crazy weight cut. But you just look at the guy, and uh, you could understand why he looks like this when he's fighting. Because again, this guy is big in the offseason. He's got a lot of muscle on his body, and when he does get down in weight, and this is a common theme, he looks insane. The lower you get in body fat, if you have a good amount of muscle on you already, the crazier you're going to look. And there's no better example of that than Edson Barboza. And this is going to shock you. On the left, Edson Barboza is a lightweight. On the right, he is a featherweight. Now, to be fair, he's a lot younger on the left. This picture is probably from when he was just starting his MMA UFC career. But on the right, yes, he is older. So naturally, he would have put on more muscle with all the training camps and strength and conditioning sessions. But he's 145 pounds when he weighs in. This is probably the day after the fight. And I know he's not 145 pounds in the picture, but this is him at featherweight. He looks way bigger, and it's just a testament to the lower you get in body fat, if you have a good amount of muscle on you, the better you look when you're lean. So guys, just keep that in mind when you're on a diet. It might be hard, but eventually it's going to be worth it because you'll get through the awkward phase, and you'll get to a point to where you have like no body fat, and if you have a good amount of muscle already or a decent base of muscle, you're going to look insane. Maybe not as good as Edson Barboza, though, because this guy has elite genetics, to be honest. But you will look good. And here we have Aljamain Sterling, the bantamweight champion, who's also got an insane physique. Shredded to the gills. Separation everywhere. Crazy midsection. Cap delts. There's literally, like, no body fat on this man in this picture. And he's five foot seven. Again, bantamweight champion that we're talking about. So he's weighing it at 135 pounds probably is in the cage at around 152 pounds. He's known for ballooning up outside of training camp and getting really fat after his fights, just having a lot of water retention and bloat. But man, when this dude is within a month of his fights, he looks crazy. Here he is doing pull-ups, shredded back, Christmas tree striations in the lower back. Again, like in order to get down to this kind of body fat, you have to have some insane work ethic, some insane discipline, and of course, a gnarly weight cut. And here he is with some random guy, Leon Edwards, I think his name is. Wait a second, that is the welterweight champ, Leon Edwards, who may just be the owner of the best physique in the UFC, the welterweight champ himself. 
six foot two, 185 pounds in the cage. He weighs in at 170 pounds, but he's probably blowing up in weight a little bit. There he is with his brother. I don't think his brother was getting ready for a fight here because he was just getting outdone when it came to the level of condition. Obviously, uh, Leon Edwards must have been like a day out from his fight. Insane physique, bro. Small waist, uh, perfect proportions, filled out chest, wide shoulders for his waist. Uh, again, like one of the best physiques in the UFC, just a really athletic, streamlined look and has a crazy back as well. And that's why Leon Edwards has the best physique in the UFC. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Use this for motivation in the gym. Use it to stop slacking off on your diet. Get your shit together. Start lifting. Start running. Get lean. And you'll thank me later. Until next time. It's summer. And that gives you no rhyme or reason to walk around here looking like a twig. And before you try to sit here and convince me about how fun it is to fit through door cracks, I'm here to tell you that it's better just to open the door. So if you do want to put on muscle, but you're new to the gym and you don't really know what you're doing, you could check out my novice lifting program. This is a program tailored to beginners that I've made sure is simple and easy to understand. It'll ensure that you're able to make as much progress as possible while learning necessary core principles of strength training. You can find the link in the description and make sure to use code MMA for 30% off.